Hi YouTube viewers. All right, today I'm gonna show you how to, or how I load my dirt bike on my hitch carrier here. So I got this because I dropped my bike one time loading it in the bed of my truck. Um, and luckily someone at the track was selling theirs, so I got it at a good price. So you can go on Craigslist or the Facebook marketplace, find one for a good deal. Um, so first, make sure you have your ramp set up and your straps. I got these D-rings here to help hold the hooks in place. To make it easier on you. And then the one closest to the truck, I like to have either on the bumper or the top of the tailgate to make it easier to grab. So we'll uh, push the bike up. Uh, so to load the bike, I like to be on the right side of the bike. That way I'm able to get the front brake easily. Um, but my carrier, you can only load it on one side. There's some carriers where you can load it on both sides, so something to take into consideration. So you wanna get your bike squared up with your ramp. Uh, try to get the best running start as possible. So that's as far as I can push it. And then I grab the front brake, use my other hand, let, slowly let go of the front brake and push your back tire up. There we go. These are the triple clamp tie down rings, looks like by Canyon Dancer, uh, that you can buy to prevent scratching your handlebars. And now the bike is seated. So. Got my first strap. So I hook it there, or you can hook it on your handlebar. I'm trying to make sure my straps are not twisted. And I tighten it down just a little bit so I can lean it towards my truck and then I can get my other strap. So, there we go. Just hold it to be safe. Don't mind my chickens. All right, uh, once you got it up here, um, I like to give it a good shake. Um, for demonstration purposes, I'm not gonna tighten down my straps all the way, but I give it a good shake. Uh, just a little bit more peace of mind that it's not gonna fall off the back of your truck. Um, so I like to take my extra strap and tie it so it's not flapping in the windshield of the driver behind you. So just tie it however, whatever knot makes it secure. I just do it like I'm tying a shoe and I have this Velcro to wrap around to make sure it's secure. Um, another thing, uh, I have an extra strap Again, another D-ring to link them together. So uh, if you drive crazy and take turns fast like me, uh, you might have your bike roll off the back of your carrier. <laughs> I've had that happen. Good luck everybody else. So I strapped down my rear tire. And then just, uh, wrap your extra strap around again uh, so it's not flapping in the wind all right we're ready to unload the bike now so um, undo your straps and make sure you have your ramp set set and your bike stand or your triangle uh, ready otherwise you'll get your bike down and have nowhere to put your bike So I loosen this strap first, uh, just a little bit to where I can lean the bike towards my truck a little bit without it falling over. That way I can undo the strap on the other side. All right. So I position my thumb on the front brake here, 
my right hand, so I'm gonna roll my front tire off. So right when the rear tire is coming on the edge, I grab that front brake, reposition, holding that front brake, and then you're ready to let go and roll down.